Hello again chaps and chapettes, how are we all doing? It's lovely to see you all again as always. So guys, Nike have unveiled a new home kit for the England national football team, but this time there's a couple of differences to it. And to quote Nike themselves, they say they are a playful update to the flag of St George, on the collar to unite and inspire. Inspire who exactly? I don't know, I'm sure we'll get to that during the course of this video. But I can tell you one thing, it doesn't fill me with inspiration, not one single shred. Now the Daily Express has reported on this guys by saying, announced a couple of days ago, Nike said the new kits will celebrate football heroes of the past with a modern twist. Now let me ask you this guys before we go any further, can you think of any object on this planet that requires a western modern twist? Because we all know, roughly translated, that means an injection of wokery. And I can't think of one singular object, even a pen, on this planet that requires an injection of wokery. Because that object, as it was before, will be lost forever, never to return. Keep that shit away from everything, be it living or made of plastic. One change in particular sparked outrage. As the sports fashion brand revealed that St George's cross on the collar had been given a playful update to unite and inspire. The traditional red cross has now been replaced with a multicoloured cross. While the vertical lines remain red, the horizontal line has instead been redesigned with navy blue, light blue and pink. We know where this is going don't we guys? Don't need to be rocket scientists on this one. Despite being revealed on Monday, the change was only picked up on this afternoon and has led to immediate social media fury. So before we go on guys, let's have a closer look at this changed cross, shall we? Yes, the lines going down, the lines going down even are indeed red, and the lines going across are indeed dark blue, light blue and pink. Why does that need to be on the back of a man's football shirt? I have no idea. Need smarter minds than mine to work that one out, don't we? But yeah, we all know this is pandering too, guys. We don't need to go too deep into this. So let's get down to the nitty gritty of this, shall we? Why on God's green earth has the St George's flag been desecrated like this? Well, I think one thing has got to do with it is the shirts being made by Nike. Now, I mean, no disrespect to my American viewers, because I know I've got a couple of percent that watch my videos. No offence to you guys, but why on God's green earth are America making our football shirts? Especially when Walkery itself actually came from America. It's bound to creep its way directly into what we hold dear. The St George's flag has remained untouched for centuries and centuries. It's never needed a modern twist. It's never needed a playful redesign. It means a lot to the people of this country. Some people don't give a shit. I don't care about them people. Them people can be shipped out to sea and piss off somewhere else for all I care. This flag means a lot to the people who actually care about this country and care what that flag represents. And to see it desecrated with bright colours, completely unnecessary, I think is an absolute outrage and a slap in the face and a kick in the balls to the average English patriot. The same must be said for the police officers who wear that thin blue line through the Union Jack. Have you ever seen that? Another desecration of a flag that means a lot to a lot of people. Now I know they say, oh it's because of uh, fallen police officers, fallen comrades, whatever. Yeah, fair enough. But why do you have to change the colour of the flag? Why do you have to put a line through it? Again, it's desecration. People don't like it. It's an insult to everything that this country stands for. So in conclusion, guys, I do think this kit is missing one singular thing. One thing that this kit absolutely needs is a portrait of George Floyd on there somewhere. Obviously, be it on the shirts, on the shorts, maybe on a little tag on the side, I don't know. But why isn't that career criminal on this shirt? It's a representation of diversity and inclusion and equity and all these other fucking lovely bouncy fluffy words that people love to use these days. Where is he? Where's the Black Lives Matter tag? I don't know. 
it makes you question doesn't it guys anyway i'm gonna stop drawing on it's been five minutes so uh yeah thanks very much for watching and i'll see you again soon cheers